What is at stake when we don't include stakeholders or we don't use collaborative processes in research? Well, at a fundamental level, we ask the wrong questions. What I do involves the intersection of science and real world management needs. It's extremely valuable to continue to work with researchers and for researchers to continue to work with managers. But how do you actually do collaborative research? My job really was to work with stakeholders. I was worried about how effective it might be and if we really would be able to meaningfully bring people into the process and make the work worth their time. So how can science and management work together to benefit land and people? Learning from the land involves cycles of data collection and meetings with managers and ranchers to help interpret the data. We first met with ranchers and managers in a workshop. In this meeting, we discussed how the landscape responded to things like fire and grazing and discussed where the group disagreed or didn't know about a challenge they faced. Researchers then used field sampling to address these questions, followed by analysis. We then brought the analysis to the same group of stakeholders to get their interpretation and input. We repeated this for three years with many rounds of meetings, field work, and interpretation. I think one thing in the beginning, we did several workshops with you guys and with Maria and all and that was difficult to get started with um, because it was so academic. Mm -hmm. It was difficult to uh, apply that practically to the land. I remember one project we did, it was at the Carpenter Ranch, and we had a, a large assortment of people and all of a sudden, everybody understood what the state and transition model was about. And everybody talked about it, everybody participated. It was one of the best workshops that I've been to. My experience working with these teams was very, very positive. I learned uh, just so much uh, from talking to some of these ranchers that have grown up and lived their whole lives here. Um, I felt like, as a relative newcomer, um, my observation experience was valued and I really felt like we weren't different folks from different areas but we were um, folks working in a common landscape and uh, working for a common purpose. We're the ones that can take this body of knowledge and turn it into something that you know, has long-term um, uh, positive consequences. I think the most beneficial things we've gotten from working on these projects is it's made us pay attention and think about what we were doing and why we were doing it and where we were doing it. And there's no doubt that the more you know about your place, about the flora and fauna, the better off you're going to be, period. Without the involvement of stakeholders, there's a lot of things that we wouldn't have known about the local area. We wouldn't have been engaged with people who are actually applying knowledge that we're supposed to be generating for them. And I think there were cases where we really would have misinterpreted the data had we not had their involvement. If you don't incorporate input from local stakeholders, I think you'd really be missing out on the bigger picture. With all the challenges that we face um, today in our society and on our, in our ecosystems, we need every possible solution and every, every kind of knowledge, both of our jobs will be easier and will be more effective in them if we work together more closely. Working together, we can ensure research is relevant to real world problems and includes real life experiences of those who live on the land. And land managers can benefit directly from research that affects their lives and livelihoods. From questions to results, collaborative research can bridge a divide that leads to benefits to land and people.